Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I grew up in a time when uh, Star Wars was uh, new. And I remember watching Star Wars with my dad in uh, the theater. And the only part I remember from the original Star Wars film uh, on the big screen as a kid, the only, t the only part I remember visually was uh, the, uh, the, the last part, the trench run, essentially, where the uh, spaceships were uh, flying around. Uh, I also seem to remember, it, again, when I was younger, watching a, a sci-fi film, Battle Beyond the Stars? This is just coming to me right now. I think that's what it was called. And I remember at one scene, there were aliens that were duplicated, and one of them was eating like a hot dog, and he was biting into it and chewing it, and then all the aliens behind him were like chewing, even though they didn't have a hot dog. Was that the name of the movie? I, it's been so long, quite honestly. I remember uh, watching The Last Starfighter when I was a kid and dreaming that one day my arcade gaming skills would <laughs> encourage some alien visitor to come down and to recruit me for some battle in the nether regions of the galaxy. <sighs> Those were the days. I mean, I, 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 I've always loved... I remember st the first Star Trek 2. Not, 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 I remember Star Trek 2. I mean, I remember watching the first Star Trek as well. And the only part I remember from that is the bald woman. That was it. That's the only thing that I can seem to draw out. Now, watching these movies again as an adult, I, 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 I see in things differently than I, I did as a kid. Uh, but I, I've always been a, a sci-fi geek. I've probably fallen away in recent years. But, you know, when it comes to talking about uh, weaponry of science fiction, uh, we're going to geek out, and hopefully you don't mind. What would be, out of the entire... Okay, let's, let's make it bigger than the galaxy. The entire universe of science fiction, what would be the most awesome weapon that you could possibly name? I, I, any sci-fi goes. TV books, movies, doesn't matter. What would it be? Uh, we've listed out our top five on lockernome.com. Uh, lockernome lockernome.com. You could try lockernome.com. I don't think it's going to get you anywhere. Uh, I think my number one weapon would be... Any guesses? The Death Star laser. You know, the beam and it blows up planets? Come on! How could you not list that? How, how could you not think that that would not be a part of a top five? Okay, maybe a top ten. It did not make the cut, however, in our top five list, even though I would have put it. Uh, tractor Beam, I Apple King 100 says in YouTube live video, that is tr yeah, Tractor Beam was pretty decent too. Uh, although it never really caught any tractors in Star Wars. It was just like spaceships. I never understood that. Why, they didn't call Why don't they call it a spaceship beam? I don't know. There's probably a reason for it. Uh, we've got Cheese. Says terrible broadcast. Cheese can be used as a weapon, um, you know, very carefully, uh, but I, I don't know if it's really a, a good sci fi weapon. Some of the weapons that we listed off in the blog post, and you're free to look and agree or disagree. The lightsaber, of course. I mean, did you think that we were going to get away with not mentioning Star Wars in some way, shape, or form? Do you remember, uh, it was a while ago when we were raising money for cancer using the, I was using the, the lightsaber app on the iPhone and battling someone else here in the home office and getting up on the desk and is Hang on. I think I still have it installed. I have to, I have to do this now. Even though I wasn't planning on doing this, uh, I'm going to try. Like I said, I, I had to restore my iPhone apps a while ago and uh, I do still, I mean... What kind of iPhone user would I be if I did not have? And I think this is also available for uh, other uh, popular platforms like Android. Uh, lightsaber. Okay, yeah, yeah. I hate the fact that it's trying to advertise to me. Much anger in me, I sense. <laughs> There's a lot of anger in there. I'm letting out frustrations through you. We've listed other weapons uh, that are uh, uh, could be considered the most awesome weapons in the universe of sci-fi. I mean, beyond the lightsaber, or well, my favorite, uh, the uh, the laser beam that shoots out of the Death Star and blows up planets. Uh, then, of course, 
Let's not leave out Star Trek. I did mention that you know I I do like Star Trek as well. I'm I'm a rare geek breed liking uh, both universes or one alternate universe and one galaxy. Okay, I'm not gonna go into it right now. The Phaser. Who would not want a Phaser? I mean, I cannot wait. And in fact, I, I, rumor has it that the iPhone 5, the next iPhone, is going to have a phaser built in. I mean, what else are they going to add to the thing? A better camera? Come on. Come on. You want to, you know, something that's going to get me to switch to Android? It's going to be a phaser. I'd buy that. I would not buy a phaser. Even if it was just set to stun. I mean, I'm tired of carrying around a separate taser. I want an all-in-one smartphone phaser taser phone. We, of course, have listed off other very, very, very awesome, spectacular weaponry found in the sci-fi universe or galaxy or whichever space metaphor you want me to use today. Maybe I, I could ask my friend Wallowitz. He'd probably have a few ideas, you know, because he's a space geek. Was that too obscure, uh, a geek reference for you? Come on, keep up with me, come on. Did we miss anything? Take a look at the blog post, you agree or disagree, what would your number one, and two, and possibly three or five, whatever, weapons of sci-fi be? I need some kind of echo there. Weapons of sci-fi, five, 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 five.